All right. So first things first, welcome to my first live. I'm super excited about this. It has been a long time coming, but we're here. We're here. And I did have a topic to talk about um, before we get it. I want to tell y'all that today is Thursday. The days of the week mean stuff and represent things. And Thursday, color, because color is also involved, is yellow. So that's why we wear the yellow. That's my favorite color. I know. So that's why I was so happy, too, that you were able to come because I'm like, this may be some mm-hmm. interesting. Yes, attraction, attraction. <laughs> right. Oh, I love them. Okay, so topic of discussion is are you aligned with your assignment? Okay. So I watched a video. Um, what was the man name? The video I watched is by a man named Myron Golden. And he was talking about why is God's people broke. And I made a YouTube video about it. You can go check it out on my page. Akia, A-K-E-I-Y-A-H everything so it's on my youtube page but basically he broke it down into you're not aligned to your assignment like the sign contract if you believe that or the the thing that god if you want to say that whatever you believe in assigned to you you're not aligned to it so that's why you're not happy or in his case it was like why you're not getting money type situation so Mm -hmm. Now I want to do my take on it because I also heard uh, another person named Nino, something like that. I have to put all this down once out because I'm going to post this too. But he was talking about um, aligning to your assignment as well. And he was speaking on it on the God's perspective, but it was like God's spirituality perspective of it. And I'm breaking it down from basically the video I got from him. So... You can listen to what I say and then just piggyback off of it, or you know, just say what you need to say. To it. Especially since mm-hmm. you, have, you know, this is just a one on one. Yeah, I, did you tell me about this dude one time? Because I feel like it. I, I think remember. so, but it's I'm not along these lines or something like that. But yes, because I, I talked to you about mine, though. I did. Yeah, like the name sounds familiar, and I feel like that's so true, just because like. Like, when you're in alignment, you're living your highest form of life. Like, that is your best self whenever mm-hmm. you're living what, like, you basically contracted for yourself to live or that that's your purpose. That's what you intended to do when you decided to, you know, come live this life. Um, so whenever you're, like, not at that highest level that you're supposed to be at or should be at or that you plan to be at is kind of like um like your life isn't it's like you're not living your best life Mm -hmm. basically it's really all it is you're not living your best life so it's like you're not in alignment with the best things for you Mm-hmm. including like financial freedom or just like any any type of freedom or any type of what you envision as like the best life for yourself um mm-hmm. because like living out that purpose is what you were here to do and like when you're not on that level like there's things that like are happening to you to kind of like shake you and wake you up out of it mm-hmm. including like not living like how you want to live because you feel a certain way about it, like... Or you you not be happy with how you live it. Exactly, right. So, like, that's meant to be, like, hey, like, as a reminder, like, I'm not happy, like, what can I do? But Mm. unfortunately, some people don't get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Some people live their life never realizing um, their purpose and not even, like, just realizing it as in doing it but just not even becoming aware of what that thing is some people may be aware of it but they're too scared you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying they feel like that dream is just too big of a dream to even try to attain and try to reach they're so discouraged because to be honest like society even school like everything is built for you not to be living up to that point mm-hmm. and it's really hard to like filter through all that as an adult and really realize like hey like 
you know, my mom was basically has been programmed for me not to do that. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like we're told to take a certain route, do these specific things in these specific ways. And then a lot of times you may be made fun of, or people may be talking down on you or just talking about you when you try to branch out and do that other thing, you know, especially like, I feel like, I mean, just in general, but especially in small towns with small minds, mm. which we talked about that just the other day. Yes. Being from a small town and stuff, you know? It's different. It's different. But all of that, because actually, you know, I had where I was going to go down and break down my thought process, but you started on a good note because we, mm-hmm. can, start we can start there. <laughs> I like that one. And okay. basically with that, well, because I was in some video references, so I'm trying to see here. So not being happy, not being depressed because I know that's what happened with me I got depressed and that's how I mm-hmm. became, you know my assignment that's how I, feel like I started aligning to my and just not living for yourself and yeah that might sound selfish but you have to consider your emotions and how you feel right. the situation and you know just everything about it before you make that decision because whenever you align to your assignment everything just feels right. That's that heaven on earth spirit. You know, we always talk about, like, you know, what heaven looks like. Yeah. And it's just your perspective of it. And that's really just you living how you want to live on this earth because we really have it here. We can do anything. Like, we have the ability. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't you do exactly what you want to do in this life? Because of other opinions right. and, you know, trauma, you know, that's yeah. a, you know, that's how we we got to where we are, you know, and stuff like that. Just realize that. Yeah. Um, yes. It can be anything. It can be anything. Mm-hmm. And it's like that fear, you know, yeah. when yeah. doing it with fear. That Go check out her YouTube video. <laughs> okay? <laughs> go okay, check it out. Yeah. Doing oh, it with, I was talking about Vonti. Yeah. Girl, I'm saying. Yes, girl. Mm. But yes, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> okay. Check it out. But yeah, but so. Yeah. I completely agree. And it's like, you are the only one that's going to be, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. And you have to look back at your life. And you're the only one that have to live with your regrets, you know. And it's like, I get it because we all go through that fear factor of, you know, wanting to do that thing that seems scary or that seems like unrealistic for just the average person or just for yourself. Like, it's understandable you know what I'm saying but just like I say like you really have to do it with that fear just because you are the only one who is who has to live with those regrets and have to die with those regrets and you know you're you you don't want to look back on your life and be like I just the only reason I didn't do that is because I was just scared like I was scared of what they was going to think about me and I was scared of what they was gonna say and like I think sometimes too people don't even realize like that it's really fear that's keeping them from doing stuff like they're not even that aware of their own self or their own emotions because like even personally I know like you know when I would hear people say that I would just be like I don't care what people think like I don't care what people think about me or think about what I do but then when you really stop and you just really ask yourself these questions these hard questions and really take a real good look at it it's like yeah I kind of am like oh. that's really what's keeping me from doing it like you know because it's like you really try to you really have to lay out like let me lay out the reasons for why I'm, I'm not trying to do that if that's something I feel like I'll enjoy or that I'll like or that I want to monetize then why really why won't I and then a lot of the times that's in one of your reasons one of your reasons is because you're scared of what others might think about you and that's such a like bad reason to not do something you know what I'm saying and allow somebody else to dictate your life like it's already bad to allow fear to dictate it in general but then to just allow like other people just the thoughts of what other people will say about it and you know what I'm saying like uh, allow that to just keep you from doing something that's gonna be that would be the worst feeling um and it is hard to break out of that but that's why it's important because you can't live with that no for real and you brought something up in my mind that I totally forgot about until now but it was video I was looking at I can't remember it was exactly and they were talking about how our mind basically like you know how we slavery but our mind our mind is in slavery basically yeah so slavery and the it's like a 
pain wrapped around it, like in the key is the knowledge, the wisdom that you gain while in the experiences from the experiences of life. You know, mm-hmm. that's because that's the only, like, and the only way to get that is to start like really just connecting with yourself and being with yourself and like you said, being more aware. So if you're not aware, you're not going to be noticing that you're not making the correct decision. Right. For you. right. You're, not, you're not making that decision of like, this is really what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So you know, pursue it and do it. But then right. you also don't want to have that feeling that feelings mm-hmm. are real and people don't value us. Oh my gosh, I really like that analogy with the chain and stuff because it kind of goes back to like that really simple quote, knowledge is power, but it's like so true because mm-hmm. just knowing that that is the thing that's keeping your mind chained, you know what I'm saying? Or just, just that really is the key to everything is just becoming aware of what things are and how to do things and how to get what it is that you want, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Or just come becoming aware of the fact that I even you have chains on my brain no, or on yeah, my that. mind. You know what I'm saying? That's like the that that programming. Like the chains is like that program. That's the programming. That's the brainwashing. But the thing is, is like that just shows you that if you can be programmed to think this way, then you can be programmed to think that way. So it's like, what do I want to program my mind with? You know what I'm saying? And that's that key, like the key to unlock like your best self. Yes. What is it that I want to be programmed and brainwashed with because I don't like what I'm seeing in my life right now. Why is it like this? You know what I'm saying? Why is my life like this? Like, why haven't I achieved that? Why ain't I making this type of money that I feel like I should be making it that I deserve? You know what I'm saying? And that's why questioning everything. That's like my favorite model of question everything. That's why it's so important because when you ask questions, you get answers. Answers is the knowledge to unlock the life that you want. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really that simple. It's just hard to reach because you're brainwashed, basically. Because it nope. is trained. For real. For real. And the, how the brainwash, which is a whole nother topic, a whole nother day. Okay. But you is like, they were saying, because this was part of the video, that like, um, you know, between the TV stations and the radios, like, mm-hmm. broadcasting for a reason. They're broadcasting mm-hmm. from the message. It's not here to serve us whatsoever. We know that, like the te- you know, like television, you just telling us some stuff that is not what it is. So they were like the new age of that is what we're doing now, educating people how to be self aware and know yourself better to really get what you want and need. Out of no, yourself. for real, that is um, very true because, like, um. Spiritual, like you know, I'm sorry. I was I'm hearing something. I'm in the woods. I'm hearing stuff, but um, <laughs> spirituality, uh, like you know, how we talk about all the time. Like spirituality is just simply awareness. Period. Like that's all that you know. We like to associate it with just because. Um, that's really simply all that it is. It's just like that knowledge and that awareness of everything. And you have said something else, but I forgot because I started hearing noises. <laughs> no, you did. But what I was gonna say um, now is with the summit, the summit, <laughs> with the topic I was talking about with a lot of comment. So what I also got about with these videos I was watching was the main in the underlying everyone in this world is to serve, whether you're serving mm-hmm. yourself or serving mm-hmm. other type of mm-hmm. way. So we serve by you know helping people served by right, right. Giving, you know giving to people you you serve in so many different ways like we're serving now by just even speaking on this like because mm-hmm. we to unlock their mind and understand like i said the whole broadcast so do you believe that like the underlining yeah. of everybody i, told, I totally do for real, for real. Mm-hmm. i really do i really do and i actually love it so much and i think like the reason I love it so much is because I've gained so much knowledge about what that is and who we are and what we are meant to do. Because if you really think about it, it's like if everybody is serving everybody and everybody is serving everything around them, including the earth, you know what I'm saying? Including the planet, including the animals, everything that is nature and that's living. If everybody is serving and supporting everybody, then nobody goes without, you know what I mean? It's like all being recycled. 
you know, and that's the way to thrive. That's mm-hmm. how we will thrive on a mass scale, on a world scale, is if everybody is giving themselves to something. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, even if it, even if that thing is yourself, because you should serve yourself, because you are deserving and, and worthy of what you want and the best things in life, you know? So imagine if everybody in the world was giving, then nobody would go without and nobody would be without. And that's how we build a better society. That's how we build a society that is really going to evolve. You know, like when we can stop worrying about simple things, like even things that we feel like will always be worry, worrisome, like money, or people being without food. Let's. What if we fulfilled that for every person on the planet? The the society and humanity can only evolve into something even greater and better. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's like, of course, because the whole we're animals at the end of the day. We're a species. You know what I'm saying? And even like if you bring science into it, animals are meant to evolve to be to adapt to their environment and to adapt to be a better species. And that's exactly what serving each other is going to do for us we're just going to evolve and become better you know what i'm saying girl yeah you know how we were talking about the dinosaurs whenever we was watching that mm-hmm. and how they evolved now they're just girl, like yes. all species it's like what happened? like what you know we all evolved yes. you know, now like however y'all think like that's mm-hmm. gonna change but i guess well, hold on let's answer this one question because i will forget i'm not even gonna lie it says okay. people um, somebody says, speaking on the topic of spirituality, do you believe that a person can spirit to either help or harm them? Help or okay. harm them. You, you, can, you go first. And I'll give um, my opinion. Both due to the fact that you can call upon spirits. This is a whole thing. But, because I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> but I feel like you can call it either or and they will do both with how you need it to happen, honestly. And then sometimes you, whenever you're not in a good place and you're trying to call on one, you don't know who you may also get as well. That's true, yeah. I agree too. I think both exist. Like, just basically positive and negative entities exist. But at the end of the day, I also believe that it's not more it's never more powerful than you are so you know if like you i guess like calling a spirit or if you feel like there is negative spirits around you um i definitely believe that you have the power for it to not affect you and things like that but people really i think also think people think of spirits in ways of like like ghosts and stuff like that or like they think exorcism or like just the stuff that's in the movies when really like a spirit can just be, like, a depressing feeling. Like, you could have a depressing, like, spirit around you, and and it's, and you're, and it's giving you that energy. You know what I'm saying? It's not even always necessarily, like, just this satanic, demonic, evil thing, but it still can be negative mm-hmm. in, that, in that type of way where it's just maybe just bringing you down just mentally, you know? Right. So that was the thing we're going to steer off of because we're going to get back to this topic because I have some stuff written down. I'm ready. Okay. And then, or I made a video honestly because we're I like this like this was unexpected yeah <laughs> oh, and it did what it did and did what it do so um mm-hmm. so we answered that but I like that at the end I should that's like really what it is like whatever is something that don't have the most power over you that's what yeah yeah definitely you know, power mm-hmm. you know, that you know like only you can create your reality like mm-hmm. somebody, Oh, right. And it's amazing. Right. Agreed. Okay. What else you got right now? Okay. So, like we said, with the whole underlying purpose of everybody here on Earth is to serve in any type of way, shape, or form, like however it is. And mm-hmm. then so wrote down that you was put on this planet to make a contribution. You were prepared to add and not take away. So, like that would just like giving back and just thinking about the animals and earth like mm-hmm. that adding because we are living on this planet and she's giving a lot to us so we can okay. give back. exactly not even just the planet whenever and then you all six i just remember this when you said you serving yourself you know that's something you should be doing and that's so true because when you serve yourself or when you're serving others you're basically serving the divine or y'all or god whatever you term you want to use that's who you are serving because we are all a part of its creation like 
we are all connected. We're all one. So whenever you serve yourself or others, you are all serving the highest of the high. So mm -hmm. why would others, you know? Yes. Stuff? Yes, I agree. And I like the idea of serving the planet too. I feel like the planet gets neglected so much like planet earth when it's like like you said we live on it not only do we live on it we live off of it like okay. every single thing that we eat everything that that sustains our living comes from the earth so it's like if we are crapping on the earth and if we are doing things to the earth that is killing it then in turn we're really killing ourselves we live off of it our water comes from it our food comes from it even though i think like it's like a mental separation almost from it just because we go in the grocery store, we shop and everything may be processed or in these boxes. But essentially those processed foods have been processed from natural foods. Everything comes from nature, you know what I'm saying? Including us. So it's like, if we're not taking care of nature, we're not taking care of ourselves. Like we have to keep, again, it goes back to, we have to serve, like we have to serve each other we have to serve the planet because really all is one. And like I said, like hurting and killing the earth will in turn kill us because what, like seriously, what will happen if we pollute the earth to the point to where we can't eat off of it or we can't live off of it, we will die off. Our species will die off. So again, back to evolution, like it's just all like a circle, like everything go comes full circle when it comes to this stuff, because it just, it just all makes sense. So, yes, I completely agree. We have to serve everything here because, really, that is serving ourselves. It's only going to better us, even individually, not even just as a group and as a population and as humanity, but it's going to serve us on an individual level as well. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, people lack that awareness and lack that knowledge, so they don't do it or feel like it's that important or that it's even true or that it matters but that is why it do matter is because we really are all connected we're all one yes no for real speaking free now okay okay that's some words we can just go off and go speak something else girl okay, okay. a whole nother lecture oh man yeah bro. So with going back to serving them, <laughs> others, I wrote that we can also over, mm -hmm. especially with others, really. I'm talking about okay. others. So I was just thinking the concept of, you know, you're not supposed to be in a relationship, that relationship, all the red flags and stuff like that. But yeah, you proceed on and then continue to like try to help this person do, do that. Like now you're extending yourself at this point and not right. yeah. in the beginning you know it just happens throughout the relationship like once you start seeing like or feeling that you're not supposed to be somewhere or you don't like mm -hmm. whatever it is like negative then you don't need to be doing it because obviously that's right. just your body or yourself what mm -hmm. you want alerting right. you this ain't right. it this ain't it so that's mm -hmm. why I'm really thinking of like the over serving people mm -hmm. Is, is just that's something very common to like like I said big on relationship things but also it could be in other aspects of the or like there because you feel like you have to be or something like mm -hmm. that. You know, yes. for you yes. like no yeah yes. it's, it's, kind it's, of, kind of, it's kind of like too much of anything is a um, bad too much of anything is a bad thing and uh essentially when you're doing stuff like that you're not serving yourself and really you like you said earlier you do have to put yourself first even though yeah it sounds selfish but at the end of the day like you know you're the only one that's responsible for you you know what i mean um you know as a as a grown adult so it's like uh if you're not taking care of you then you're not able to take care of other things you're not able to give your best and you're not able to serve in the first place so if you are doing things that is causing turmoil or just causing negativity in your life or just doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing always just so good just little stuff like that um and just keeping like toxic people people who 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 is not serving you or people who is not um like benefiting you helping you be better mm -hmm. a better person just in general then 
that into your life. You're not exactly like then. Then at that point, it's like it's it's it like cancels itself out. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You're overextending yourself, like you said. So you're not getting anything back out of it because the situation just is not serving you. Mm -hmm. So it is important to. Be it's not a balance. It's that's uh, not not the best for you, um, just because in turn it's just going to create negativity in your life and likely the other person's too. Yeah, I like that because it's just it's a, the, everything is duality in this world. Like everything is just pure duality. Exactly. That like, situation. Exactly. You know, even whenever yes. life aligns into your assignment, like when you come when it comes to making the decisions, you want it's like mm -hmm. do I want to choose this hard or this hard you know type situation whether it's something you know you need to do like me with this live like I know I need to do this I'm glad I did and I chose this hard but look what happened like you hear something good came out at birth. Right. so, so it's just allowing yourself to what you want and mm -hmm. if you want to get exactly what you want it makes it even better yes and like you said, everything has a um, has a duality. Really, nothing is good or bad. It's like neither good or bad, and or or and it's both at the mm -hmm. same time. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you're using it and how it's showing up in your life, um, which kind of goes with the, you know, over serving yourself. But but yet yeah, serving is good too. But but yeah. Um, I really like the whole alignment thing because it just kind of makes sense because it's just kind of like, um, I just see it as like when you're, I kind of look at it as like a, not really a chart, but kind of like a graph and it's mm -hmm. like 10, you're at your highest point in life. And then like, maybe you are at like a five, then you're going to receive five things, like five out of 10 stars things. Does that make sense? Like, no, it that's, do, do. that's what you're going to get. Like, yes whatever level you are on, whatever energy you're emitting, which is why, like I said, all comes full circle. Whatever, wherever you are is what you're going to get. That's what you're going to attract. That's one of the laws. It's a law of attraction. <laughs> like, you're just going to, you're going to attract where, who, wherever you are at in life is the, is the type of life you're going to continue to attract. You know what I mean? Like, and that's just what it is. So when you're in, when you're in full alignment with exactly who you are supposed to be, like, like like you said whatever you want to call it but you know god's purpose or, or your life's mission or, or whatever it is for you what however you want to say it whenever you are on that le level 10 you can't get no higher that's exactly what you're going to see out of your life like that's the type of life you're going to live it's going to show up materialistically and energetically within your life that's just the, the way that it works so it only makes sense you know what i mean like it only makes sense to me Yes, and Jalen Jalen Phillips just said life is all about perspective. Your mindset is the key, and that is so true. It's just all about mindset. Yeah, That's all about mindset. And then whenever you just said um, on the scale, the ten, mm -hmm. you know, whatever to ten to zero. So it's actually an emotional guidance scale. I believe that's the name of it. Don't quote mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Like send it to you, but it says like when you're emo whenever you're in this the top part of the scale which is the positive emotions have to get stacked you know all that good jazz then you know you get what you want you're you know you're happy I you're aligned mm -hmm. you're fine. but whenever you below it you're not aligned so you're like sad depressed this or that like all the negative emotions but again going yeah. back, when you feel in those negative emotions or whenever you're yeah. feeling you shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that that's mm -hmm. just and don't do it like you know yep. that second brain yep. Is yep listen to it for real i just seen a quote not too long ago that said all is mind and i love it so much mm -hmm. this is so simple it's just three words like it's just a really simple like sentence really simple quote um but how true it is it's just like the ultimate truth you know what i'm saying like it it it, it, it really is the the complete controller of your life and the life that you're living um so like it's like once you learn that you really unlock the key to life like that analogy you really unlock your brain you really unlock that's why it's your brain is is the reason why your brain is is what's in the locks is because all is mind and whatever whatever is in your mind is is whatever your life is gonna be so 
it's really important to know that because once you know that like i said like it's like you unlock the keys to life now you know that whatever is in your head literally because this spiritual stuff used to go over my head like i used to not get it in the beginning but the more i listened to it the more i started to grasp it and this stuff is so literal like it's so literal and i think it's so crazy to us because it's just never told to us and taught to us but it's so literal like your yeah. mind is really what creates your life like whatever you believe and whatever you think of yourself and for yourself is going to manifest into this physical reality. And that's just that, that's just the way that it works. So once you realize that you really like have the key to whatever it is that you want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It sounds a little easier than done just because you do got to do that undoing and that relearning and reteaching and that unprogramming and programming with positive things and with this type of information. But like, dang, once you do, it's like, you'll be living that, 10 out of 10 life you'll be living that 10 out of 10 lifestyle yes no right in that wave period real period pool <laughs> okay no for real you preaching today preaching because i'm going to <laughs> hey <I'm tonight>, <laughs> what can i say okay but i'm trying to stay like on this topic but no for real. Being no it'd be so hard to stay on this it'd be so hard to stay on one topic with this stuff because it's like I say, it, it all connects. It's all a connect. circle. It's, it's yes, circle and it's so much knowledge. So much knowledge. It really is. Like, it can be talked about forever, for an eternity. Like, knowledge is, is eternal. So it's like, it really can be, like, that's how, like, vast it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it really can be talked about like that. Yes, yeah, no, for real. And they just say when you put the physical change to the mental attitude and approach your life that way, you'll see a change. And I just had a conversation with my mentor literally yesterday talking about walking in that energy who you want to mm-hmm. be. Like, like mm-hmm. walking that energy you will only receive what you want, that energy. Like, that's, that's going to attract everything that you want to So, just yes, be definitely. Energy. And, yeah, you know, it definitely. may require on your behalf, but that's what we, we're here to change. We're not here to be comfortable. We're not here to mm-hmm. just pay you know, complacent and stay the same. We're here to evolve, gain, yep. and grow, to love, to balance, all of that. Mm-hmm. Like, we're all not, of the above, for real. We're not simple, we're more mental beings. So, yeah, yeah like walking in and going to, to be today. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers, hmm. one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Elizabeth April, the other day, uh, or I just seen a video of her not too long ago, and she was talking about how, um, like, when she just go out or whatever, like, to the grocery store and stuff like that, like, um, people just always, like, come up to her and be like, hey, you know, or they be like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Just, like, little stuff like that, like, those, like, little praises, like, micro praises of, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, like, just giving that attention, like, I see you, like, you seem like someone important, kind of, like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? And she's, like, it's just simply because I walk in that energy. I am that, like, oh, my God, like, yeah, I need to, like, that need to be me, like, for real, for real. And, you know, and she is someone that I would see as, like, living that, like, 10 out of 10 lifestyle you know what i'm saying like she is really in alignment with who she is supposed to be and everything like that so you know i can only imagine the type of energy that she's emitting for her to just walk into a grocery store just walk in a room and everybody turn their head in the tracks you know what i'm saying and it don't even like matter like what you really look like you know what i'm saying because it's just simply that energy okay. and moving in that energy for real for real like people do not have a choice but to feel that they don't okay. have a choice but to feel that that genuine real energy like really really and when she said i was like I was, like i really like that like I, yes. I like i strive to to do that i strive to be like that for real every day that's you got to set them attention like that's another thing whenever you find with your time you have to set your attention that day like every single day you wake up set your attentions and set your attentions of what you want to accomplish what you want to do like everything again like we keep saying it's all in the mind like I think. Mm-hmm. And then XO it underscore is Amber said people need mm-hmm. to realize that money, that money is a form of happiness, especially when your mind is aching. Isn't a form of happiness, especially when your mind is aching. And that's true as well because one of the topics I forgot to say, and I'm glad they said that, was being whenever you're and happy where you at in life right now, 
whether um talking about the car you have, the house, how much money you have, like grateful for the money you have, and just being just content and happy in your environment, then you are prone now to grow because great gratefulness is like the key to manifesting basically. Mm-hmm. It is one hundred percent. Because now you're you're bringing energy, you're happy about the energy, mm-hmm. you know, and you can't really you can't fake the phone either, like you know. Mm-hmm. So if you're not genuinely genuinely and truly happy, it's gonna happen for you to expand and grow. You need to do what you have because somebody always has the worst. Facts agreed, and uh, you know, like money isn't the the key. Like that's why you know I feel like one of the deadly sins is greed just because like anything that you admire too much or put too much um i guess value on mm-hmm. uh, will basically like bite you in the behind that later. Do you know what i mean yeah because you are hoping that this material thing anything that's material is not fulfilling you know what i'm saying in that way to where if you're not a internally happy you know you're not gonna find happiness in material things and that's just that's just period you're just never going to so that's just something that you have to find within yourself and a lot of people do feel like you know things like money or material things like will be the problem solver Mm -hmm. in their life but it, it really just depends on what's the root cause of your unhappiness of your depression you know what i'm saying like it's likely due to some sort of trauma or it's likely due to the brainwashing you've endured that we've all endured and stuff like that you know um that's really the root cause of it and it's not to say that you don't you shouldn't have money and that you shouldn't be a, a millionaire or whatever like that it's, it's not to say that at all it's just to say that that your happiness don't don't lie within that it just lies within you like which i feel like sounds so cliche but that's really just what the truth is so if you're chasing happiness and money or material things you will never ever you'll die never having it because mm-hmm. okay point blank period because we mm-hmm. are supposed to be you know living in this world but not saying you're in this world but not a world type so you know you need you know enjoy things we're here for a reason like we're here to enjoy those things some people you know want it more but you cannot become so up in it that that lifestyle because just like those things that you're touching and seeing they're off the vessel don't go with like this is just a vessel we're living in we're a human body having this human experience here on earth Mm -hmm. and being, being that so we are part of the divine so that means you're able to call right. it won't right. don't, don't worry about what we have here what about what's in school because that's the only thing you should be able to take so be here and, uh, yeah. yes. and I love that quote when you at first told it to me well, that we're not we're not um of this earth we're on this earth or some, whatever you say mm-hmm. because Oh my God, it was just the one hundred percent truth because we don't, we're not gonna be here forever. We're here very, it's a very, very temporary like glimpse. What's the drink saying? Um, um, I'm not here for a long time. What is? I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Yep. Yeah, like and that ain't no for real. facts, Jersey. That ain't no okay. Facts. Real. Honestly, like yeah. honestly. Good that as we always say oh time be moving time be moving like oh it's okay Okay. because it does move like in a sense but we can also just enjoy it while we here and it Mm -hmm. was it will make it not feel as so quick that's very true yeah and i just it's just i think being here being in these bodies like you said they're just a vessel they're just temporary in it and it just is what it is like get over it you know what i'm saying but they just we're just temporarily here living as this person for right now but it won't be forever like our soul will move on our body these bodies will stay here and okay they're of the earth but our internal the self is in hmm? no bible verse are uh the the ashes whatever dust the ashes, dust. ashes dust the dust <laughs> That's what we're doing yeah. when we when we go ashes. That's to ashes. all we gonna be is the ashes and dust. Oh shit! Okay. 
<laughs> for real. And um, we just see it. We're just in it. So it just becomes really, like, very, very, very real to us. And, I mean, it is real. Like, we're, we are living this life. But you also can get caught up in that because at the end of the day, it is just factual that you won't be here forever and that these bodies just won't be here forever. So what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That means that these material things aren't that important. They won't be here forever either. We're not going to, so not to take, just don't take things too seriously. Like never take things too seriously. And honestly, like I love, I love learning that because that was a reliever for me, especially like if you have anxiety and stuff, it's like a reliever, like, this is just this one lifetime that I'm living. Like, yeah, okay. I live another. I live another. <laughs> Don't look at it. And I live again in the past, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just like you know, not to take it too seriously, including those material things, like and placing so much value on that because it don't really matter. That stuff ain't gonna exist in like a hundred years. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you're not gonna exist in like a hundred years, and it just is what it is. Like. Um, so it's just kind of like that reality check of what is really important then, you know, what is going to exist in these hundred years in a thousand years, this energy within me, like my energy that I'm withholding, that's, what's going to surpass this world and this, like, so let me take care of that. Because again, when you take care of that and you serve yourself, you'll be living at 10 out of 10, full circle, full circle. <laughs> okay. okay. So I want to say in that, I'm going to say but I can't break off too much because it's a whole other topic. And I think we've been on here for, what, almost an hour now? Probably. And lucky don't even feel like it, but it, I, I think so. It's crazy. Well, I was going to is um basically, like, that goes back to attachment issue and being attached. Like, yeah. you know, some people have attached issues with each other, like, whatever. And then other times, some people are attached to their material things and then mm -hmm. you know who are attached to their body type situation you know is this all different attachment but we mm -hmm. are here how to love them nurture them take care of them but also know that they're not it's not here forever like it's, right. it's something i'm gonna have to detach from eventually so you know don't don't have that possessive energy around it because it's not it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out at the end of the day. Like it's not it. Um, uh oh, did her? Uh, she probably lost service or something. But uh, let's see here. Also, just being grateful. We already know that. And loving on each other, y'all. We've been here almost an hour. It's so many more topics in this that we are going to speak on. Definitely myself. This was just a good day. Like, I'm super excited. This was my first live. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, do you feel like you're aligned? Ah, thank you, Jalen. I'm not going to talk to y'all because I've been on here for almost an hour. I got to go relax now. I'm finished drinking my tea. But do you guys feel like you are aligned to your assignment? Like, let me know what you think. Because I know that now me doing this i am definitely aligning i am super excited to see where this is going to go like it feels amazing like you said before Jalen. like with just those experiences and memories like this is memories we're going to have being able to just broadcast this information this is going to stay like this is material that's going to stay on this earth but i'm not attached to it because it's only going to get better okay period it's only going to get better from here but yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, let everybody know. It's going to be on YouTube as well. And I'm going to save it onto my Instagram and pop it on Facebook too. You know, we, we showing out. We showing out. Everybody got to see it. Everybody has to see it. But I thank everybody for showing some love and just being here with us and just giving us your time like that is precious and i'm so grateful for that as well because time is energy and that's we ain't about to waste anything okay anything but i love you guys bye thank you